Let's consider some of the facts why people invest together and why it might be necessary even for us to join hands with others. The number one reason is the ability to share risks because evidently there is security in numbers. You know what we call the hard mentality? But we see it when zebras see a lion and they scatter makes it easier for the lion. So the hard mentality, though borrowed from the wild, works very well for investment. And this is the same with investments. When we are many of us investing together, we can be able to share the risks because we have different thoughts, we have different ways. One person is able to see what the other person cannot see. And that might be the risk we are facing or the opportunity we are missing out. And this way we are able to look at every investment from a diverse angle, what you might not be able to do when you are alone. The other reason why people come together is what we call the power of many or synergy because if you think about it if a thousand people set aside five thousand shillings each per month that is five million shillings with five million shillings you can do much more than what each individual with their five thousand shillings can ever dream of and so this power of many allows you to grow faster and allows the economies of scale so start thinking whether you want to enjoy the power of many whether you want to enjoy what we call synergy Let us consider another reason why people come together. This allows access to investment expertise. We are not all investment experts and we can do a little with uh, a little savings. But when we join together and we raise a big fund, we can now access investment expertise. We can get a fund manager uh, to come to us. We can get a bank to, to talk to us. We can get an insurance company to talk to us. While it's not practical for them to give you advice and to, for you to enjoy the expertise, when you are actually together and there are many of you, this becomes possible. So you might be an investment club and the asset management company want to invest for you and they will actually be able to give you the expertise for free. That kind of expertise is not something that you can actually just get alone as an investor. And so you can obviously see there are many, many uh, benefits of banding together uh, when you can be able to enjoy services that you cannot be able to access alone. The other reason why people like coming together in a group is because you can start with manageable installments over time. Everybody starts by putting little by little. We're learning each other. We're understanding each other. And with the passage of time, when the group has formed and gone and stronger and the structures are in place and we have a success in our space then we can actually be able to improve our fortunes and we can put in more contributions and that is why when you band together you can start small upgrade with time and over time you will actually have more now the other reason why people like coming together is just a chance to participate and get involved and i think we love this for investments sometimes when we give money to other investors we do not know what they're doing with the money and when they give us a little return we are not even happy about that but when you investing with others you have a chance to bring your ideas on the table and you see it grow and there's nothing as exciting see that the idea we brought on the table is growing we can change the course of events by bringing ideas by challenging the thinking you get a chance to spend time with others learn what's happening because winning is very sweet and everybody wants to be part of this winning group. So another reason is uh, shared opportunities, which is a reality when you are a group. If you find an opportunity you cannot manage alone, then you bring in the others. You have found a property that is on sale, you can't do it alone, and you can bring in the others. Because more people have more eyes and they have more years to pick up opportunities than what one person can be able to do. So you can actually be able to share the opportunities that come your way now, the other reason is that a lot of these investments we are talking about, the infrastructure is actually existing. You will not have to put it together. Think about the circle. The investment infrastructure is there. The circle is registered. There are rules. There's already funds. There's money in there. There are systems. There are officials. All you do is you join and enjoy. You join, you invest. When your time comes to take a loan, the infrastructure is there. Get a guarantor take a loan. And same is true of most of all these other investments. If you think about the unit trust, the fund management company, the asset management company is already structured. And so you do not even have to spend time building it up. This is a tradition as a people. We are social beings. We want to live in uh, gated communities because we are social beings. And living alone is not our norm. 
We are not individualistic in life and we cannot be individualistic in our investments. When we investing together, we hold each other accountable. We keep the investment flowing or even in the circle, we put in a mechanism in place. Could be a check of arrangement, could be a DDI, but we have a system that helps us to be accountable. We also encourage each other in savings programs to just think of how you join the circle or the charmer. The older persons who are there before, they are the ones who draw you in. They are the ones who told you, you come and join this. It is going to be beneficial to you in the future. That's our way of life. So getting your space so that you can invest with others sometimes require that you have a better understanding of some of the investment. And that is why we want to welcome you to the reputed wealth creation masterclass.